thanks so much for joining me today, John. That's right. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself, your role, and Carbon Black? Sure, so I'm John Kane. Okay. I am Channel Director for EMEA for Carbon Black. Carbon Black is an endpoint security platform, um, next generation AV, and also we look at active and proactive threat hunting. Okay. So very, very much of a larger name in cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's one of the reasons why we're at the show here, because cybersecurity is by far becoming a lot more of a common theme. Yeah, it definitely is, isn't it? Is there um, any themes that you're seeing both from the show itself but as well just generally in the IT security industry? Well, again on the same theme, it's yeah. becoming by far more of a precedent for the fact that it's the board now talking about it, whereas years ago it used to be the security department, people yeah, that were directly affected. Yeah, it was silo, right? Correct. And now everybody's talking about it, but talking is one thing. <laughs> Actually buying and realising that they are going to be attacked at some point is a very, very different thing. And I think it's becoming more prevalent. People want to discuss it. People are now starting to realise they need to have something in place yeah, as opposed to, I'd like to have it. Yeah. But again, that's the reason why there's a lot of other people out there that are doing similar things and talking about cyber. So it's great and it yeah. makes it very exciting because it's so relevant at the same token. I still think some companies don't realise necessarily that it is going to be them. Yeah, you know, and, and anybody that's attacking them is not a machine. No, it's, it's a human, human these being. Days, isn't it? And if they're going to find some way in which they get stopped, they're going to find another way around it. And that's why I still find it fascinating and interesting anyway. So, particularly at the show here, everybody is coming up saying, but why, why, why? What's different? And I think people realise that existing normal stuff is. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that <laughs> they also realise that. Um, you know, existing security is good, mm -hmm. but actually not necessarily exactly what they need. It might be not good enough. Fair Therefore, enough. they need to complement that with something else. And again, with the companies that specialize. Correct. And I think, you know, don't get me wrong, that's a really, really crucial part of what we do. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do it without our partners, okay. because they're the ones selling the products and yeah, they're the trusted advisors, but also partners that we in class. We're walking past Forescout now, <laughs> one of our biggest integrators as well. So, you know, we're working directly with those other vendors, mm -hmm. open APIs for their products to be feeding into our products, yeah. giving us more information, and we can act working with all those other vendors and be more secure because more our job approach, well, correct, right, but also people aren't just buying our product they're buying plenty of other products mm -hmm. as well so utilizing the products they've already got rather than throw them out mm -hmm. make them yeah, useful no, yeah. because the way we see it is visibility is absolutely crucial how can you possibly make a judgment mm -hmm. on whether somebody's attacking or trying to get in if actually you're just looking at one tiny portion or one view, product. Right? Right. You need a more holistic Correct. view of everything. So that's one thing that we do, and I think that's the key that we've got, is we do unfiltered data. We collect absolutely everything. Okay. It sounds really boring, no, but actually, no, I'm curious. without all of that information, you can't yeah. possibly make a judgment. There's so many data points Correct. in there. Correct. And then um, with that, are you seeing the boardroom taking more of an interest? You said that, of course, they're interested, but they're not buying. Is it transitioning? Uh, that well, way. don't get me wrong, they're buying, but I think it is transitioning that way, and you're starting to notice that people realise they do need to have something. I mean, the biggest reason is they realise that one of their either competitors or one of their other colleagues is in a newspaper article, and they don't particularly want that. So no. that really and for the consequences them, these days, right? and they can't afford to have that happen. But again, trying to mitigate that risk that it may never happen. I think mm -hmm. changing that around slightly to realise that sorry, but it will it happen will. at some point. It's just a matter of when, right? Well, that's the first and if point. you catch it. Correct. But now the second point is also if there is a compelling reason. So for example, if they are breached in some way, shape or form, then suddenly that triggers a very different reaction. So you might talk to a company and they're saying, we know it, we're probably not quite ready for it yet. Yeah. Literally something happens where they've either seen a competitor, as I say, or one of their own internal and teams. And all of a sudden they're really, really interested. So now we'd rather not get to that stage. Of course, we'd yeah. rather work with them now to try and defend themselves, but also be proactive okay. and actively go out and look for those gaps that they might have. So I think we're just trying to change that because Believe me, it's great to have a compelling reason to buy our product, but we'd rather not have them in the no, headlines. then you're in a crisis. Right? Correct, and we'd rather not do that. start from crisis. Correct. Okay. Um, have you seen, I know that one of the big things, at least last year, was compliance, right? Yep. Um, GDPR was huge. Then we also have the um, California Act coming out relatively soon. Has that impacted a lot of the industry? Have you seen an impact from that? I don't think necessarily that anything's changed there, because we've always had that, and compliance yeah. has always been an integral part. But Back to the point we had before, we collect absolutely everything, so that plays right into the hands of GDPR and any compliance, because ever, yeah. realistically we're collecting everything, we can categorically help our customers say that this is what happened, here's who came in, this is what they did once a product came in. So you're in, great so. for them um, reporting it, right? You Correct. can give all that data to... Just as much, but again, we're focusing just on that endpoint there, so great, we can give that information, but again, back to our integration with other partners, mm -hmm. they're doing exactly the same thing. So realistically, ours is just on the endpoint, mm -hmm. and again, I think, and that's the most important part for us, is yeah, we believe that endpoint and believe it or not, I am 
slightly old. No. And my grey hair and everything shows that, but... You can tell. Oh, exactly. Problem. I think I've really hidden it you well. Have. But the moisturiser Exactly well. that. But um, years ago, when I first came into industry and security, it was about a perimeter. You were protecting and putting yeah. a fence on everything. That just doesn't exist anymore. No, because realistically, the, the lines are blurred. Everybody's working from home. Everybody's using different devices. Yeah. So the end point is the crucial part to protect. So when it comes to compliance, if you can't categorically know what they're using, how they're using it, more importantly, what they're doing with it. Days, Correct. Right? So therefore, from a compliance point of view, you're categorically looking at one thing and reporting that back. That's why compliance is a really, really big thing for us. Mm -hmm. So particularly a lot of the big finance companies, insurance, heavily compliant, as you would imagine. Yeah. There are a lot of those are big customers of ours already. So, you know, if we didn't have that as a pedigree, then we'd be in real trouble. So again, using those as an example, compliance is a really key part. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. No I had a really great time, and um, thanks to our viewers for joining in.